The Bar Group, raising the bar in real estate. Your Lake Highlands, Lakewood, Preston Hollow Pros. You can find them at thebargroup.com. Unparalleled customer service for your real estate needs. The Bar Group. back and forth here with with my with my next guest i won't say his name yet but th- i'm curtis uh, welcome to the pickle oh i messed that up welcome to the show my name is curtis reese and i'm here to talk the wonderful world of pickleball today uh in this st- in the on the video here is a is a young man who is a tv host as well he's a tournament director and co-owner of the boca raton uh npl national pickle league championship pro league owner he's a uh, He's a uh, uh, he's got everything. He's uh, the Bogota Masters. He's got the um, the National Pickleball Expo. You, oh yeah, you did that. I got to put you on here. Sorry, <laughs> you're a lot better looking than I am. Anyway, Carl Foster. He did I think one of the first uh, pickleball um, expo. Right? Did you, did you do that this past December? Yeah, last December was our first one, and we're getting geared up for our second annual. That's gonna be awesome. Well, anyway, this is the Carl Foster. He he is the he's a a, a very big player in the National Pickleball League, which is He's a young guy. I'm an old guy for the senior guys, fifty. Up, excuse me, for senior players, fifty and up. Amazing people. And uh, Carl, talk to us. Tell us, tell us uh, the way of pickleball. Why you got into it? What, when, where, how? Well, it's a uh, it's a long story, but we'll keep it short here. I don't know how much time you have, but uh, actually, it started about four years ago. I mean, I was uh, in the tennis business, the event business, broadcasting business for for many years, and uh, doing events. And then uh, one of my partners that runs the Delray Beach. Uh, open tennis tournament. I'm the voice of that tournament for 25 years. Yeah. And I said, Hey, we're doing a pickleball tournament. So <laughs> I want you to do the TV show in about six months. I go, what the heck is a pickleball <laughs> tournament? I said, I've never even heard of it before. And so he said, well, study up because uh, I want you to host the show. I said, okay. Yeah. That's not what I, I got a year ago at this show. I get it. <laughs> yeah, so I started uh, doing some fast Googling and uh, searching and so forth. And and I uh, started ramping up as the tournament got closer. And I went out there with my, with my camera crew and uh, I started seeing what was going on. I said, where have I been? I yeah, said, yeah, four, yeah. 250 <laughs> players. There's some pro. Rob Cassidy was out there. Oh, some pros. wow. You know, you know, Steve Kennedy. And I didn't know who any of these guys were. I said, you know, you guys are pros. Steve there. was there? Oh, yeah. boy. You Steve were Kennedy, the big dog, you know, man. A big exhibition. You know, Engage wow. Pickleball was yeah. a big sponsor. It was up at the Coulter Homes. They built 27 pickleball courts. And they had the foresight to use pickleball to sell real estate. So they hosted this first tournament, the World Pickleball Open, with wow. Ivan Barrett and my tennis guys. And I went up there and I said, wow. And I interviewed Melissa McCurley from Pickleball Tournaments. And I started, you know, and I was already doing TV shows. I was doing Inside Florida Tennis and the Tennis Magazine show. Oh, wow. I did Inside Golf. And then I was still doing a lot of tennis tournaments. Uh, so I, I said, is there any pickleball shows, TV shows out there? So I started, you know, after I did the highlight show for this first tournament, I really got an education. Yeah. And uh, I said, well, let me put, you know, I was semi-retiring. I was playing golf and then, you know, but uh, I said. Ooh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, you know, I did inside Florida golf, inside Florida tennis. Oh, wow. I said, let me start inside Florida pickleball. Hey, uh, dude, no, that's awesome. That's yeah. that's awesome. My first interview was Lee and Annalee Waters right in Delray Beach. So it was a pretty good choice to start out with my first interview. Wow. Coming out of COVID, Jeez. right? And they, they wouldn't get too close to me because, you know, I had to interview them like a, a – Yeah, six a feet, feet, feet away or 20 feet away, whatever. They, yeah. hadn't, they hadn't been out of the house for like, uh, you know, I don't know how long for, because of COVID. Yeah. We're just coming out. I'm launching a TV show right, right in the middle of COVID. I said, that's a smart idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but it all worked out. So, yeah, the rest is history as far as that goes. So, I've been doing that. Now, it's inside world pickleball. That's so, I awesome. went from Florida to the world. I did the same thing in tennis. And I just, I sort of just, I did what I did in golf and tennis and applied it to pickleball. Because that became my passion and my sport now. I'm addicted like everybody else. I'm an addicted pickleball nut. Played three hours this morning. I can't get up right now because my legs are sore. <laughs> but, uh, don't ask me to stand up because I've been sitting in this chair for the last no. three Zoom hours. Yeah. <laughs> 
but yeah, it's it's all good. So I mean, I'm enjoying the sport. I mean, working the sport now. I'm owning a team. I used to own the, own the team tennis franchise, the Billie Jean King. Oh wow! So when I oh, saw wow. this Champions League, uh, I got an email said, "Hey, we're going to start this Champions Pro uh, Pro Pickleball League." I go, "All right, let me, let me see what that's all yeah, about." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, I want to at least get them on my TV show. But then I talked to him. I said, talked to my friend. I said, "Why don't we just buy a team? You know, in yeah. Boca, move it to Boca." So now that we're the Boca Raton Picklers, man, we own a pro franchise in, in pickleball. And uh, it's the 50 plus. It's the old guys, no, right? It's, it's not. The, the so. older cry. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, but, everybody's be going through that league, brother. Come on now. We all don't, we all stay young. So if you're setting a good, what you're doing, I believe, is, you know, it's being in tennis and golf. Those those legends tours or all those those uh, those those golf terms. Those are just as important for for a, a, a team, a little kid, you know, to, to start some sport. I think it's great to have the, and I think I told Rick that this for this year too, and. Uh, um, somebody else that I forgot said, I think it's a great idea because nobody wants to stop competing, right? You want to keep going. Yeah. And this is just a, such a great avenue. And, and like you said, foresight. Speaking of foresight, we have the Pickleball Show with Curtis Reese on YouTube channel. Please follow it. Uh, give us good news. Give us bad news. Speaking of bad news, I'll get off this and let the good news, Carl Foster, keep talking. So, Carl, tell us about uh, your favorite paddle or your favorite brand or what do you like? Yeah, well, like I said, I started out with Engage because they were my first sponsors and I tried out their paddles. I didn't really know what – what paddles to even try? So I uh, yeah, oh, there it is. they gave me free paddles. I forgot trying. Free. Right? <laughs> I'm in. Free, free. All right. B. I'm free. <laughs> but uh, so I, I've elevated. I've tried. You know, doing the show like like you do a show. I said I get a chance to try a lot of paddles, sure. and everybody's sending me paddles. Uh, so I played with the gauge for quite a while, and I started competing a little bit. And I, I went to the head team. I started playing with the gravity. But now the last, uh, yeah, there you go. You're on, you're a head man. Uh, uh, now I'm playing with the I'm playing with the, uh, the Warrior. Mm -hmm. I love. I fell in love with the Warrior, oh, yeah. and Good then I've elevated to the Edge, and now they came out with the VS2. So I'm playing, you know. But I've been a part of the Diadem team now for probably the last year or so. So that's that's where I where I've migrated. That's great. And uh, you know, I love those guys. They just built an indoor complex here with nine indoor courts. I just uh, talked to uh, Gene Devito. Oh, Gene, like, yeah, like, Gene. like like I, I do. what's called a called pick hits. It's part of the segment I'm starting. So. You might see a random quote, text from me or email. You might see it at the Google Meet I have. It's pop me saying, pop on, give us an up quick update, and see how you're doing, and bye. And so it's called Pick Hits. But he just came on, and, and he actually referred – that's a – the Shark Tank supposed to get, get, a, get a clip of the show for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> keep going. So you like you like the diet and people. They're great people. Uh, yeah. So let me ask you this. Uh, do you like singles? Do you like doubles? Do you like mixed? Does it depend on the temperature? Does it depend on your mood? What Do you have a favorite uh, – What's it called? Event you like? Singles, doubles, or mixed? Yeah, I actually like singles the best. I'm still playing singles. You know, I love singles from my tennis background. I played a lot of tennis oh, yeah. growing up, oh. so I love the singles aspect of just you know get more. I'm not I'm not a big dinker. I'm a banger, mm -hmm. so I'm not you know just migrating to the dinking game in doubles because all my partners are forcing me to dink more. <laughs> uh, so I, you know, I'm thinking. God forbid home. you think outside the box. There, come on, come on, Mr. Yeah, Foster. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to dink <laughs> responsibly. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Dink response. Uh, That's a good one. I like that. Yeah, but I played a lot of doubles. I mean, I mean, you know, we're practicing with our team now. I'm getting a chance to play with a lot of these champion pros, like you know, the, the Jennifer Dawson, the Hall oh, of yeah. Famer, going oh, into yeah. the Hall of Fame. Yeah. And you know, some of these players is so awesome. We're having a big. We're actually going to have a big Boca Raton Pickler uh, practice session next week at Diadems Indoor Complex. So a little plug for those guys. But all uh, right, well, we're going to be working out a little bit there. So yeah, I, I enjoy all aspects: the doubles, mixed doubles singles but yeah. singles i can't blame anybody else but me exactly so that i can blame my partner all the time that's a little <laughs> <laughs> we're a lot alike man you're just a younger version of me um, so so then so let's go to uh, i like that and again again those of you just popping on we're talking to the carl foster owner of the boca raton picklers uh, the, uh what else doing a lot of things you do a lot of stuff man he's got his own <laughs> broadcasting shows golf tennis and now pickleball and um I'm I'm in I'm like you I'm shaking right now I'm so nervous but uh, anyway so what's your current endeavor right now at the sport anything big for you said you said you had something in San Antonio coming up or what do you got yeah we uh, our next our, our final regular season match for the picklers is in San Antonio uh, at chicken and pickle chicken and pickle baby that's chicken and pickle and then our national championships in Glendale Arizona in October that's a hundred thousand dollars of prize money yeah all six teams it's going to be a fun event out there we're looking to get that nationally televised so we're all ramping up. Uh, for the year ender, but it's it's been a fun season. There's a lot, you know, any new league, a lot yeah. of 
growing pains, a lot of rule changes, a lot of adjusting. Mm -hmm. You know, right now we're looking to add six new owners. So anybody out there listening, looking to, to get into the MPL, we're adding six new owners for next year. There's already been 30 applicants. They're being vetted right now. Um, and then that is next, awesome. year, next year, we're going to have 12 teams. We're going to be hosting matches next year. This year, it's all at Chicken and Pickle restaurants, uh, which are great facilities. Just a mm -hmm. fun place oh, yeah. to be, play indoors, you know, you know. You have the food and beverage. We have big parties on Friday night. It's become such a social. We've, we've made That's so great. many friends and new relationships uh, with this Champions League. It, you know, it's you know, it's not a cutthroat. You know, everybody's having a great time, and uh, you enjoy each other all weekend long. You're playing a lot of matches. You're having some parties, uh, but it's it's. I mean, it's the team. It's the team aspect. If you grew up in team sports, you just you love it versus just playing individually all the time. Yeah, I mean, we, I played four years of college, and then I played a year after that, and I, I just. That's one of the things um, um, uh, that I've I've had uh, Amy Yarbrough on, some of these other local veterans and all that are really good, and they've said the same thing. They said just that whole entire, it's good to compete, it's great, but you know, my, my parents always said, leave the drama on the court, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Leave the win on the court, all right? Because, you, you know, you're taught that young. I, I'm never taught not to get excited about much, so you're actually doing it. And I've learned that a lot in this endeavor of pickleball I've been doing for, since 2018, especially the show and... We get a lot more no's than yeses. I can tell you that. But, but um, you're you're an amazing man. All the things you're doing are just phenomenal. And that's one of the reasons I begged Andrew to and AB Bricker, another guest of ours, that's part of our show. And I say this all the time, Carl. It's not my show. It's not her show. It's our show. So we, you take the time to come on. It's ours. It's as simple as that. So that's not that's not BS either. Uh, so let's go to. Um, uh, so you, you got you got six teams coming in the NPL. That's awesome. Uh, yep. You probably can't say names of where they're at, but we'll do. That'll be a quick pick. That'll be a pick hit when I call you sometime. Um, so, uh, where's what's your favorite story so far with pickleball? Favorite place to play? Favorite event? Like I say, so, so far. <laughs> so I'm sure far. there's a lot. And by right, going, right. Not, they're not yeah. going an hour. You never know. So so far. Yeah, well, I mean, so far, I think uh, playing in New York at the USDA Tennis Center was, was a treat. I played last year and wow. went back up again this year, played singles, won a couple medals. Uh, but it was just, the, you know, I covered tennis there for so many years. Yeah, and exactly. And there, wow. and I know Ken Herman and APP Tour put together a great event. And wow. go up there, I didn't have to run it or work it. I went up to play. Yes! So, so yeah, so that was the fun part. You know, take my wife up there, enjoy New York. My daughter's up in New York, so we made it a, a, a great weekend. Going to the restaurants and, you know, I handle about a week or so in the city of New York. I can be back to Florida. It's, it's a crazy. Oh thing. yeah, that's your <laughs> that's your jam, Blade, baby. It's Florida. Yeah. But, you know, I, I enjoy the U.S. Open in Naples. I mean, you can't you can't beat that facility either, and just playing there and covering that event. So and those are my two favorite venues overall, besides Boca, where I, the tournament that I run in Boca Masters. I can't. Yeah. You know, of course. You know, I can't play my I can't play my own tournaments, <laughs> but it's all work for me, so I don't get to enjoy all the. I got to watch all my friends playing and enjoying themselves. Eat Jerks and, drink and, party. and I'm gonna run this damn thing. You guys suck. Right. Yeah. Happy hour. There's no happy hour. It's triple hour. <laughs> <laughs> gotta work. You gotta work for a living, man. Well, you know, I was taught by bless his heart, uh, William Trowbridge Trier. Uh, passed away. He's a mentor and a friend of mine. I love you, man. I know you're up there. And he taught me when I first when I first got into it. He pulled me aside and said, "Cuddy," he always called me Cuddy. He said, "You see, you see, you see, you see. We." work when they play and uh, we play while they work you see you see and so i'm like oh that's that's a tennis pros pickleball pro golf pro any professional that's uh, anything that's we work while they play so that's the way i view that mr foster all right look man so you have a favorite player female or, or a male or female right now uh i mean i'm, I'm sort of i see my favorite player i love part and toe i saw her play with eight uh well Annalie waters this past sunday man that was a pretty Decent match. Who's that? Uh, Part Partino and uh, Anna Lee Waters. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Anna Lee because I mean they live right here. Yeah, I saw them play. I play at Delray Beach where her and her mother. I mean I met them early on when I got into pickleball. They've always been so nice and just uh, watch the maturity of how she's growing. I mean you know she was twelve years old. When I, I know, saw, I know I mean, it's crazy. Months. She's an old lady. She's sixteen. <laughs> Uh, I didn't call you old Annalie. He did. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just don't call her mother Lee. Don't call her an old lady. Uh, yeah, her mom scares me. So uh, anyway, well, that's cool. So male player, you like anybody? My boys. Uh, you know, I, who I like coming up right now? Yeah. I mean, I like Jay Devalier was, was the first guys I really got. I'm still good friends. I saw him at Chicken and Pickle in Wichita. They were practicing him and Pat Smith. Mm -hmm. uh, so Jay's always been a sweetheart of a Dallas guy. Dallas Pickleball Club Zone, Jay Devalier. 
Jay, but he's, he's funny guy, uh, just, just a down to earth guy. So he's one of my favorite players, but uh, also Christian Alshon coming up. Yes. Uh, Chris, Christian, I covered in tennis when he was 12 years old Wow. and, and his brother dated my daughter. So I've got a, a likeness. I want to see Christian uh, be successful. Good. He had some issues. He was a great tennis player. Yeah. Juniors, I thought he was going to really make it on the tour. Just didn't quite make it in you know, college tennis and decided to jump back into pickleball. Mm -hmm. And man, he's on fire. I mean, yeah. I, he can take it a long what's way. His, what's his name again? Guy. I'm sorry. What's his name? Christian Alshon. Oh, shot. Okay, yeah, we're gonna. What we're doing for the ask that question is whenever we whenever we get your your video edited and all that, and we add uh, clips of uh, to push whoever you're pushing. So, uh, what there's a word for that? I don't know. Rob knows. But uh, anyway, um, what's your favorite shot? Ah. My favorite shot is the banger. The man. banger. A baseline banger. I mean, I, yep. I want to hit the ball as hard as I can. <laughs> I, I'm not a dinker. <laughs> I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. I'm gonna punish whoever I can punish. If they keep getting it back, then I'll, I'll probably change it up. But you heard it first, right? His name is P Carl the Punisher Foster. Yes, <laughs> DPF. I'll never forget that. All right. Well, cool, man. So, um, let's go to. You want to talk about your fame a little bit? Where you're from? Give us a little history of the Carl Foster. You from Florida? Where are you from? Yeah, no, I grew up in Ohio. Oh, wow. I grew up uh, northeast Ohio around the Cleveland area. Mm -hmm. So I'm an Ohio State Buckeye fan. Got a big game tomorrow against Indiana. So oh, yeah. I'm a big sports fan. Oh yeah. But, you know. Uh, Military veteran. I went in the Air Force, uh, Vietnam veteran, uh, 1971, and I was in American Forces Radio. If you know that show, Good Morning Vietnam, yes, that sir. was my story. Uh, no, so that, that was not by me personally, but that was I what I did. I was I was a DJ in no. Vietnam, I Thailand. Uh, I did morning drive, afternoon drive. So I got my broadcasting background in the military. Spent That's seven awesome. years, two years in Spain, did TV, radio, and just I just loved it. Traveled the world and just enjoyed it myself. You know, playing softball, playing tennis, playing all kinds of sports. But just, you know, then when I got out, I you know, went back to Ohio, uh, got a job as a CBS sports anchor up, uh, up in Northeast Ohio, Youngstown, and went to Cleveland. Yeah. Worked with the Cleveland Cavaliers, director nice. of broadcasting. Um, then I came down to Florida in 1983 and uh, started uh, working and developing my own shows. That's when I started Inside Florida Tennis, Inside Florida Golf. And uh, started working with all the uh, regional sports networks, and just uh, the Delray Tennis Tournament. I got very big. I was a very big tennis player. Yeah, very I'm involved sure. with tennis. Still am. Still yeah. am. I don't play tennis anymore, but I cover it still. Uh, I'm still amazed when I'm watching Carlos Alcaraz, yes. and Jack Sock coming in now. <laughs> I thought I interviewed Jack Sock. I, he won the tennis tournament I did in Delray Beach when he was 12. Wow. And so I've seen him progress all the way up the tennis ladder. Now he's jumping into pickleball. Wow. Along with uh, John Isner, who just retired, he's coming into pickleball. Sam Query's coming into pickleball. They all live here in Dallas. They're all they're all coming in, man. They're all going to the dark side. That's not the dark side. <laughs> Shut up, man. There's been days where I feel like it's the dark side, but it, it, it ain't me. It's just the people I'm talking to. I talk to the right people, like you. So, um, well, good. So let's go to uh, let's go to in the kitchen, man. This is one of my favorite segments. We get to talk about funny stories. I give you ideas. You can you can bounce off whatever you like, but people know how weird. Carl Foster is how cool Carl Foster is. Everybody knows how crazy I am, so you're not in that category. <laughs> so we're going to go to In the Kitchen. Uh, when I was coming here after lunch, I got a wild hair at my bobo, and I decided to listen to some Pixies with the Frank Black, which I love. And I was listening to Where's My Mind, and uh, that's a good album. Uh, all right, so I'm, I've been jamming the Pixies. What you got? We like to jam, too. Well, yeah, what are you listening to before you talk to me, other than, you know, important stuff about pickleball? No, I'm, a, I'm pretty much a classic rock guy. Okay. So I was, I was, I was a DJ and a rock and roll DJ for years. And then I went, I went to the dark side. I was a disco DJ, ran a disco. Oh for years. no! Yeah, I left, I left that. I burned all those disco records. I can still do my disco dancing if on occasion at weddings, but uh, I want to see the that. Part, <laughs> <laughs> for the most part, I'm, I'm, I'm back into my classic rock and roll, and you know, it's just uh, I do a lot, of, a lot of DJing, you know, over the over the years. Oh so wow! It's, it's, I still go to a lot of concerts. I, I enjoy the live music. I'm following uh, you on Instagram. I know you're an active, excuse me, <laughs> and Facebook. You're an active man. Um, so, you, so what? Okay, what show have you? What concert have you seen more than of the greats? I mean, like Led Zeppelin. What what, what what shows have you seen the most? Like my brother was a deadhead. He, my bro little brother forever. Yeah. And, and my dad was too. My dad was a navy. Uh, submarine. He's the navy. Um, he didn't. He loved music, but he didn't like traveling. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, what what band did you see the most? Probably the Eagles. Oh. Yeah. I've seen Eagles probably seven, eight times all over the country, different places, and, and Bruce Springsteen's another one. There you go, the uh, wall. Yeah. 
just saw the boss again for I don't know how many times, but getting in the pit there with the boss. So it's uh, those are probably my two that come to my head. And obviously, uh, grew up with a big, big, big Beatles fan. Never saw the Beatles live. Oh wow! Never saw the Beatles live. Uh, but uh, so that's that's sort of my my background. I, I go way back, but you know. Those are good. Those are those are good. That dot, you know that the D Don Henry lives here in Dallas. My brother used to eat cheeseburgers with him off Greenville Avenue. Um, true, true in the back in the mid nineties, it was because we bought, bought joint joint off of Lovers and University, I believe. Rosen was can't figure something out. Though. I'm losing my mind. All right, so let's go to favorite sh- movie. Which what what's a when you think of a funny show that makes you laugh? Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is watching Vacation with my parents. In my family, <laughs> that's one of my fa- that's a go to. Um, uh, w- what's one of your favorite movies of all time? Well, Robert Williams is my favorite actor, so okay. I mean, Good Morning Vietnam oh, yeah. was was obviously one of the ones. But uh, anything Robert Williams is in and Jerry Seinfeld, Seinfeld's yeah. another one that just cracks me up. <laughs> that was that was for your, that was for your show for you. We 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 watched Seinfeld last night. We just put that on in background. You just can't. We we're watching we we're watching the one where. Um, um, Oh, fuck, I've messed it up. Anyway, but we were watching it yesterday. So, like, Seinfeld. So, he's got a sense of humor, of course. He owns a sports team. He's got to have a sense of humor. All right. So, uh, favorite podcast. I was listening to um, um, Aftershock. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a second series. It's good, like, storytelling thing. I listen to that. But uh, what do you listen to? Anything you like? I, I listen to a lot of sports podcasts. You know, I'm a, I'm a big fantasy football guy and a fantasy baseball guy. So I used to do fantasy sports shows. And, oh, wow. Uh, over the years. So I've, I've stayed in with fantasy. It was, a, it was a, you know, I was a sports talk host. So fantasy was my homework. Really? So oh, by yeah. playing fantasy, I could learn about every single player. And when I'm talking on the air, doing live sports talk and people asking me questions, I'm calling in all the time, asking me about this player, this player. I, that was my homework. So I got really got involved with fantasy. Did a fantasy TV show live from Hooters, you know, just so things me, like that. Let's get this, let's level set this real quick. <laughs> you be started your own show about fantasy because you had to do homework to watch fantasy games. <laughs> I want that job. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun. I've always created my my own my own jobs out of my passion. That's the best way to tell your wife or, right. your, or your spouse. Yeah. I got to do my homework on fantasy draft. I got to go. I'll see you later. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell my wife. I said I'm studying for my. That's my. That's my job. That's, that's my, my job. job. Uh, yeah, I, I told I my wife. Go, I got. I got to go to Hooters and do a live show. Come on. Look what I, I used to do the bust of the week. <laughs> <laughs> You're a trip. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm. I'm. I'm I'm not a millionaire off what I'm doing, but I love it. So I know what you feel. So, um, all right, what's your favorite sports team? Come on now. Mine's the Stars, my Chiefs. I like the Chiefs. I was born in Kansas, so I'm not a Fairweather fan. But my wife went to Texas I'm Tech, all, so whatever. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm all Cleveland. Ohio State Buckeyes, baby, all the way. It's the Ohio State Buckeyes. Of course. Don't forget the. I know. I will, I will not. I will never, right, right. never do the. No, sir. And I grew up as a diehard Cleveland Browns fan, Cleveland Indians, suffering all year. I'm still suffering. <laughs> <laughs> I was a Chiefs fan up until four or five years ago, bro. Now, come on. Yeah. I went to go, go to a game every year. We have season tickets. I went to the one where they won one game. Where, yeah. where uh, Kyle Orton came in. Or no. Oh, no. Uh, Alex Smith was hurt. And Mahomes came in and single-handedly drove down the field. We were in the 15 yard. I watched him walk all the way down there. And Rodgers was just like this the whole time. Yeah. And all I told the fans, they're such good fans. So the Cleveland fans, he's got such good yeah. fans, and I said this may not be your Super Bowl, but it was our Super Bowl, and they always give me a hug. So you got good fans in Cleveland and anywhere those places up there. Oh yeah, Kansas uh, City. I was just there. Was, yeah, well, I was yeah, I know. Well, for our event in Kansas City, it was awesome because I went by Arrowhead. You know, it oh. just. Uh, I mean, that's always. It's like the Midwest. It's the heartland of America. It is. You get a chance to go around to these other Midwestern, you know, places. You know, we've been, you know, to Wichita, yeah. and Kansas City, and. Been to Dallas twice. I, I used to go to Dallas before uh, for some other events and things. I've been down there and went to Billy Bob's and oh, yeah. you know, rode the mechanical bull and got my you know, my groins killed. But <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Speaking of groins getting killed, we I, we have dogs. We have two dogs: a, a golden doodle named Chief and a uh, Havanese named Gus. You guys got pets? Oh, the Havanese, yeah. I get a little Morky. Oh, do you? I got a little Morky named Dasher. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever Have you ever heard of a Dorky? Dorky. <laughs> have you ever heard of a Dorky? Well, Gene Click, the owner of the excuse me, the general manager of um, uh, the Oasis out here in our Fairbury here in Dallas, is uh, he asked me. He says a Dorky. I said, "What the hell is a Dorky?" He goes, "You ever seen that show, Toy Story?" He goes, "Oh yeah." 
He goes, it's that dog that walks around the corner and just keeps walking. That's my dorky. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dachshund and a, and a Yorkie. Yeah, it's got it's the face. Weird, weirder dog with a wiener dog, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Well, uh, all right. So what's something funny or unique about you that, that you think people would, um, other than, you know, having Anna Lee Waters and her mom out, your, out playing with the pickleball, what's, what's a weird thing uh, you that people think about you that's cool or funny? Uh, well, my nickname is Snake. Like, sna know, so. like Snake Plissken on one of the best movies ever made, Escape from New York? Yeah, no, it's uh, actually, they, you know, I got named that playing tennis, and it's carried over to pickleball, so that way people see me play that. I, I guess I'm moving like a snake. You are. Know. You're evil, dude. Yeah. Every, time, every time I hit a net ball, it rolls over. That's, that's my that's snake right. shot. If you look that up in the dictionary, you'll see my picture with the, with the ball just rolling over the net. But you, say, you don't say sorry. I said, that's snake juice, baby. That's snake, snake juice. juice. All right, snake. That's it. Call me snake. There you go, all, brother. All, all my friends call me snake. There you call go. Me snake now. Yeah, like, like an escape from New York. You see that movie, right? You ever yeah, see Escape yeah. from New York? Snakes on a plane? No, <laughs> shut up. Anyway, you're crazy. <laughs> well, hey, look, man. If somebody wants to get in touch with you about about your awesome league, maybe try out, maybe work 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 for your company, what you do, or just talk to your email. You well, what with questions? How would they get in touch with you, Mr. Foster? Yeah, well, my website is fostereventsgroup.com. Uh, they can reach me through there. Uh, I'm on all the social media channels. Uh, as far as that goes, uh, we do. Uh, we do two events. We do the Boca Masters. We do the Delray Beach Pickleball Open. We're always looking for volunteers. We're looking for sponsors. We're looking okay. for people to come out. Uh, great events. Having a great time. Super time. Just got off a call. We're, we're working with the new celebrity league, the PBX Pickleball. Uh, they got a bunch of celebrities. They're going to uh, come in and play at our tournaments, and we're going to raise money for charity. That's so awesome. that's cool stuff. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's just I'm just having a fun time. I'm just enjoying life right now, man, and just playing pickleball and working in pickleball. I think you've earned the right to do I this. Wake, life. I wake up in the middle of the middle of the night. Sometimes I wake up, and all of a sudden I, I go to hit my backhand. I slap my wife in the face by mistake. You know, she said, "What are you doing?" I said, "That was my backhand." I, was, I thought I thought I missed the shot. You know, but that's. Did she go? You better. I would have gone. You better won that damn point, bro. <laughs> I won the point and lost the marriage. <laughs> no, I don't say that. All right, well, I'm Curtis Reese. I can be reached at Curtis at ReachBackAtSports.com. Uh, for sponsors or content, uh, please email Rob at ReachBackAtSports.com. Um, or I can be reached at 972-896-1533. Or go on the World Wide Web and type in Curtis Reese Pickleball. Carl, you've been great, man. And you, you, yeah, yeah, well, man, keep up the keep up the great work out there you're doing with the pickleball show oh, and stuff. Just, uh, we need we need characters. We need fun. We need we need excitement. And don't take pickleball too serious unless you're unless you're working for a living. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's me. I, I I'm gonna go out later, bro. Peace. Come, come, come.